Get to the chopper! Hello, he was a fan favourite last year, so we've got him back on the show, Jalen Feeney. Welcome once again to Get to the Chopper. Yeah, thank you for having me. Um, multiple text messages were sent out through the year to try and get me back on and multiple, you know, messages in the inbox. But uh, I've had to come up with some new material with our mate uh, Michael Bell, unfortunately, leaving. But it's great to be back. It's an awesome show and our uh, fan favourite Fez is back and ready for, for action. Well, great to have you sitting here now. You finished 2022 on the sideline with that ankle injury. You've been back for a few games now. How's it all going? How's life feeling in back in the black and green? Yeah, it's been good. Um, anytime you get to put on a Blackhawks jersey, it's something pretty special. Um, I didn't get to uh, end 2022 the way I uh, would have liked. And unfortunately, it's a bit of a serious injury that took a lot to come back from. And I'm just happy to be back playing some football and hopefully contributing to the team and uh, get some wins and have a pretty successful year. Now, I know you're keen to get to the Lego Masters segment, which you reckon you absolutely dominated, which we will get to, but we are going to stick with footy first. And the boys blew PNG off the park in round nine of the Host Plus Cup, 54-4 in front of our home fans. A much needed victory, but the performance probably more than the scoreline was most pleasing. Ten tries, obviously Sly kicked things off against his former team. A rampaging Riley Price crossed for a double with the forwards fleet of foot surprising the Hunters as he raced away for his second. And Jodice bagged himself a hat-trick. What were your thoughts on that match, mate? Yeah, it was certainly an impressive game from the boys, uh, especially to get a win at home. And um, obviously PNG being a very aggressive and forceful team, I think the best part of the game was um, them only scoring one try. Uh, I think Payne would be very happy with our defence. We tried to focus on limiting where they start their sets, starting them in the corners and making themselves um, tied in defence. And I thought that's exactly what we did. Um, it was an awesome game plan from um, Quabber and Paney, and I'm glad that we stuck to it because making too many extra tackles against them I means sore body Monday. How many uh, tries did you have a hand in there, mate? Oh, I only played 40 minutes. I uh, had a hand in a couple of tries. Um, Thought I was going to score a couple, um, but you know the Papua New Guineans got me by the ankles there a few times, so I probably should have had three or four by the end of that, but I just kept passing and using the boys outside me. Well, it was a really special night for Jamal Shibasaki, became the youngest ever Mendy Blackhawks debutant. I caught up with him after the game just to ask him about what that sort of piece of history meant to him. I thought about it and it did put a little bit of pressure on me, but I said, um, no, nah, it is what it is. Um, the opportunity's there. I'll just go out hard, 100%, give it my all, and then yeah, see how I go from there. But yeah, as soon as I heard it was PNG, I knew the contact was going to be hard, and it definitely was. I was a bit nervous running out. I had to go to the toilet twice on the bench. I was real nervous and real itchy feet, but I was like, just stay calm, play aggressive, play hard, run hard, and just tackle hard and just keep talking, put my best foot forward, and um, hopefully that's what I did tonight. Doing all that in front of all the boys, I was like, no way, that's unreal, that's crazy. Like, oh, doing under 18s, it was good, you know, all the boys getting around, but being the youngest, it was like, far out, I gotta do it good here, you gotta get around it, and it was good all the boys got around me too. Yeah, lovely stuff, Jamal. Now, he said he was nervous before the game. He was also nervous after the game because the win meant he had to do the chopper in the change room. And as you can see from the vision, all the boys had beers and he had the can of Sprite. Yeah, for sure. He's uh, only a young fella and uh, it's good to see our debutants doing the chopper. Unfortunately, he had a, you know, a bit of a sore rotator cuff, so he didn't have that quite swinging as well as um, former debutants before him. But uh, once he got that shoulder going, and it, it was a fair few rotations there um, above his head. But it was good to see him debut. He's a proud young Townsville boy, so that's what this club's built for. Well, I'm sure when he's not in the Host Plus Cup side, our under-21s will have them in their team. Now, they're back in action this weekend after a buy in round four of the hastings Deering's colts competition. They'll take on Norths. It's obviously a curtain raiser to our main game. The consecutive premiers are currently sitting a spot below us on the ladder in 12th. And while the hosts have won just twice, you can guarantee they'll be desperate to secure their third victory on Sunday. Here's the man in charge of them, who's a familiar face actually, and our coach Aaron Payne with their thoughts on the Bishop Park battle. Yeah, it's not a, um, a favourite field of, of mine. I, I don't think um, as a coach I've had a win there, to be honest. Um, plenty of tight games and um, it'd be great to get that first one. Norths are a team that play a lot of footy. They're at you all the time asking questions. So I reckon the test this week's probably more around our defence. 
Papua New Guinea didn't have much ball at the right end of the field for themselves. So we weren't put under pressure defensively much on the weekend. And, um, you know, if we can replicate our attack again, but then be good defensively against a, a much better attacking outfit in Norse, um, you know, that'll please us as a group. I think we have nine... Um, gone from that uh, grand final winning side. Um, so yeah, we're very much a new side. Um, we're still working on those combinations. Um, just sort of not getting it done. Um, just take our lessons off the back of that. Yeah, Disco Dave, good friend of ours here at the Blackhawks. Um, so yeah, hopefully um, we can get the two points against him and, and uh, catch up with him for a beer after the game. Disco Dave, they're formerly in the black and green, but obviously now with North. Yeah, Disco Dave, the Silver Fox, um, the best looking 40 year old there is. Um, He's obviously an integral part of the Blackhawks. He's been here since the foundation and um, obviously he's taken his opportunity to go to Mackay and be a head coach there at Norths now. So I'm sure he'll get the boys um, ready for a big battle on Sunday. And obviously he wants to get one over Paney and Paney wants to do the same over him. Right now, Lego Masters, massive viewing audience on Channel 9. Finished up last week, I think, but the boys, we did our own challenge this week. You had to work out a word which was pretty simple and then spell it, which was actually made to look difficult. Then there was the under-21s coach, Roy Byra, who just struggled from the get-go. Let's check it out. <laughs> we need more than that. I think it's Mendy. So do I. Mendy. Mendy. Mendy Mick. Right in front of my eyes. M-E-N. Is we already started? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know we were starting. <laughs> oh, this is going to get me. Yes. Go, Patrick. Benny has it. Holy, Benny's cruising here. Is it Mendy? So that's not the word, yeah? No, you got it upside down. Oh, I've got the word? You're upside down. What do you mean? Yours is upside down. What do you mean, way off? Bro, these oh, things are super glued. Oh, wait. Benny's going hard out. What do I do here? Come on, man. You're missing one, eh? Am I missing one? No, but that's what? mend. <laughs> that's <laughs> mend. Show me that. Mend? How do you do an end here? Didn't they teach English with Piggy? Yeah, Corbs was my teacher. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've ruined this. I come from behind. Oh! Oh! oh. 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 Mate, you don't know how to <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh no, Chet. She's done. You looked at mine. Mandy. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Winner. I got Thanks the word 30 game. seconds ago. Thanks for the game. <laughs> yeah, give it to Patty. Got him, mate. <laughs> but I knew it was Mendy. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. Good game, I like it. Fez, you were pretty happy with your own performance playing with the Lego there. Did it take you back to your younger days? Yeah, mate. Um, I was obsessed with Lego growing up. Um, I'm not too sure why because I can't build anything at the moment, but I could really build Lego. And it was a bit of a tough challenge for some boys because spelling is, is tough for some boys and um, working stuff out is also tough for some of our boys. So it doesn't surprise me like the likes of Cafane, Roy, um, those two look like they struggled a bit uh, in, in the footage there. So, uh, you know, back to the drawing board for those two. Yeah, I mean, five letter word, but still people couldn't quite get it right. I mean, there's a few five-letter words that I could think of that are, are less uh, harder to guess than that one. Now, we're going to talk local league and where better to start than North's drought-breaking victory. I think it was their first win in around two years and you wouldn't believe it. Where you go to get the vision for the RLTD games, it's not up there and are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah, I actually got a message just before we uh, came in here that the lines actually destroyed the tape. Uh, they weren't happy with the performance and uh, Norths are absolutely livid at the moment because the footage of Assi scoring that 100 metre try was unreal. That footage deserves to go on the news, deserves to go absolutely global and I'm, I'm absolutely filthy what Lions have done with the footage. Yeah, great try Assi. Well, we can confirm the Lions, they were down by the Devils. Brothers got some revenge for last year's grand final loss to the Crushers, claiming a comprehensive victory over Herbert River at Jack Mansky Oval and Burdekin blitzed the Bulls in air. South's returned to the competition with a win, but it's been all downhill since, mate. Three straight defeats for, I guess, your club. 
Yeah, it's a bit unfortunate. The boys started off really strong and then obviously struggled the past three rounds. Um, we've had a fair few injuries and a fair few young 19-year-olds come up and, and play A-grade for the first time. Um, I guess that'll be a testament to um, our club at the moment, uh, just being able to, to get some young boys playing and playing against men consistently. And we might be benefit from it towards the end of this year, um, but hopefully we can get some boys back uh, in the Maroon and, and hopefully start stringing some wins together. Well, you say towards the end of this season, it's a long season. It's still pretty early days. Yeah, you play each team about three or four times in this comp. So um, if they beat you once or twice, you've got an opportunity to square it back up. So hopefully we can get some wins. Right, well, South, they'll host the Lions on Friday night. The Miners and Crushers clash in the Towers. Centrals and Burdekin face off, while North's newfound confidence will be tested, taking on the Brethren. Hey, Fez, thanks for being a part of the show. Looking forward to a little segment you've organised coming up in the next week or two. We won't give too much away, though. No, we, we certainly won't. We've got three um, victims, oh, sorry, candidates, sorry, three candidates, I should say, that are looking forward to next week and uh, getting on the Fez show. Uh, and hopefully they come out of it with knowing a bit more about themselves. Let's hope so. Remember, you can stay up to date with all your latest Mandy Blackhawks news and updates by jumping on our website and, of course, our social media pages. We'll see you next time.